Yo, 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 peace and blessings, Apex Solar One. Today we don't have too much time. It's Saturday, uh, January 22nd, I believe. Um, uh, yeah, January 22nd. Um, I'm going to give you all a little bit of what I do. I'm still trying to answer that question, man. A lot of people texting about you know, what is that I do regularly. And I sit and study. I have some old ancient recordings they on cassette tapes that I sit down and listen to but I have to be real focused when I listen to them these are men of wisdom this is not enlightenment this is not uh intelligent even this is uh beings who know true what the true solar beings were what they did it's outside of education and um it's someone who just knows what what went on with us and like I tell you I'm really a solar being I'm really from the solar family and the first personification of us down here on the planet Earth was as a race of beings called Lumerians. So y'all don't hear about Lumerians, you hear about Egyptians and all that, but we were before the Egyptians, before the Atlantean uh, civilization. Like I taught y'all, pre-memory, when you had to do everything on instinct and because you had no record of anything like that. You didn't glorify yourself and remember that. You know, in a basketball game, you hit 50 points. You had no idea that you had to go out and do it again. So nothing was trophy, cataloged, or memorized. And he's going to, I think he's going to speak a little bit about that. And that surprised me also. But anyway, real quick, I wanted to give you a lesson before I go. Y'all wanted to know what it is I do. And what it is I do is I give y'all information. You, you out today or you out, you got child, grandchild, small children, nieces, nephews, whatever, son or daughter. Get them little games that they can use their minds with. Um, you get a child, had a child, a car, a helicopter, airplane, a bike, anything by itself. They're going to sit and just begin to go boom. They're going to just use their own mind. You're going to see them off somewhere creating their own roads, creating their own games. And just like us, when we had action figures back in the day, you got to take one and hit them. But you, nobody's bothering you. You're not bothering nobody for a long time because you're just, you know, doing your natural thing and your thought pattern with the toy that you received that is not an Xbox, that is not a PlayStation, it's not Fortnite, it's not guns and or killing and all that kind of stuff. If you give your child a Rubik's Cube and give them the basis of what you're supposed to do with the Rubik's Cube and how you should match the colors on all sides, then that child will spend time thinking and trying to put that Rubik's Cube group together. It's what we hand our children. We're handing them these cell phones. We allow them to walk around all day on these phones and they're going to become ignorant. All right, so that's a little bit of what I wanted to share with y'all today. Get natural gifts. Thank y'all for texting about Alicia. She was supposed to stay two days extra last week, but I thought Monday here, I thought we was having a snowstorm. So we checked out Sunday. I checked out Sunday. She brought us a bunch of gifts from Africa and, and Egypt. Precious min minerals, uh, emeralds, stones, uh, garments, and things, natural garments and stuff like that. Already made some sundresses and sewed uh, flowers and plant life into them and put some metals into them and stuff like that. So I'm going to show y'all when the time is right. My niece now, Shanette, she's in Africa. She just traveled to Egypt, she texted me, like three days ago. So she's in Egypt. I'm waiting to see her when she get back and, and see, uh, hearing about her experience. So, yo, I'm going to get to what I do. And um, thank y'all again for my soulmate, Licia, who's just a soulmate. Y'all take that the way y'all take it. But um, I was definitely waiting for her to come back and, you know, embrace her. That's why I was playing my Snow Allegra, Dying for Your Love. We, we rocked with that all week, you know, and I just laid, held her in my arms and just told her I was dying for her to get here. You know, it's not like it's that kind of relationship either, but, you know, it's just true love that I knew was coming and I was waiting for. So, yeah. And anyway, do that, Natural Toys. And for the people at home and stuff like that today, I wanted to get some extra money. So I pulled out some old red bottoms that I had five or six years. I had my boy go fix them up and we're going to eBay them. I have my own eBay channel. And I got some old Maury Gators here that I don't really wear. I wore at once. They're really brand new. These is Maury Gators. I'm going to eBay these. And we're going to go 500 500 for a quick thousand dollars for the day. You know. Handmade Gucci shit, you know, stuff like that. And that's what you do when you need money. Nothing illegal, you do something legal. So there's a lot, lot you can do around instead of waiting on a paycheck every two weeks. So, yo, I'm going to give y'all some of my wisdom or what I listen to. And we're going we're gonna to let that be that for the day. And you hear what I listen to. Not that I have to believe it because we don't listen to believe. We're not believers here. We listen to wisdom and that wisdom just fits with me. Like so future wisdom fits with people. It'll fit with you. And you'll just know it, okay? He's going to talk to you a lot about pre-memory. I am from the Lemarian race. The Lemarian race is the solar race. We are the first race to personify 
down here in physical form, well, not even in physical form, in our etheric. And he's going to talk a little bit about that race. We preceded the Egyptians, we were before the Atlanteans, and this is not education, this is solar wisdom. And this is a little bit what I do and the mindset you have to be in to even sit and, you know, hear what I hear. You have to be already in that esoteric know. So, peace and blessings. Again, thank y'all for Alicia. Um, uh, coming up, Soul Future will drop uh, Close Encounters of a Soul Mind. By and large, memory was not yet developed among this race. While men could have ideas of things and events, these ideas did not remain in the memory. Therefore, they did not yet have a language in the true sense. Rather, what they could utter were natural sounds which expressed their sensations, pleasure, joy, pain, and so forth, but which did not designate external objects. But their ideas had a quite different strength from those of later men. Through this strength, they acted upon their environment. Other men, animals, plants, and even lifeless objects could feel this action and could be influenced purely by ideas. Thus the Lemurian could communicate with his fellow men without needing a language. This communication consisted in a kind of quote-unquote thought reading. The Lemurian derived the strength of his ideas directly from the objects which surrounded him. It flowed to him from the energy of growth of plants, from the life force of animals. In this manner he understood plants and animals in their inner action and life. He even understood the physical and chemical forces of lifeless objects in the same way. When he built something, he did not first have to calculate the load limit of a tree trunk, the weight of a stone. He could see how much the tree trunk could bear, where the stone, in view of its weight, would lift where it would not. Thus the Lemurian built without engineer, engineering knowledge on the basis of his faculty of imagination, which acted with the sureness of a kind of instinct. Moreover, to a great extent, he had power over his own body. When it was necessary, he could increase the strength of his arm by a simple effort of the will. For example, he could lift enormous loads merely by using his will. If later the Atlantean was helped by his control of the life force, the Lemurian was helped by his mastery of the will. He was, the expression should not be misinterpreted, a born magician in all fields of lower human activities. The goal of the Lemurians was the development of the will of the faculty of imagination. The Y'all go back and listen to that. I'm not going to give you no more. Y'all go back and rewind. We're running out of time. But y'all go back and listen to the rest of what he's saying. And understand why, I, you know, why I can't teach certain things like that because it's not an education and y'all won't get it. So I'll let y'all roll out with the last of what he's saying and it'll cut off. Education of children was wholly directed toward this. The boys were hardened in the strongest manner. They had to learn to undergo dangers, to overcome pain, to accomplish daring deeds. Those who could not bear tortures, who could not undergo dangers, were not regarded as useful members of mankind. They were left to perish under these exertions. What the...